Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then? Have you heard about this Bodmin Manor or Bodenham Manor? What's yeah, been going yeah, I know all then? about that. Well, what it was, this guy, and his name's Guy, oh, actually, guy yeah. actually thinks that he owns this manor. But what Barclays did is they issued a, a second uh, loan in his name that he never took out. So obviously this guy guy was quite pissed off at this. And so they came and stole the manor. His manor, that is, there's no mortgage on it. So they stole the manor and then they did a secret little deal with a, an estate agent so they could sell it to a preferred client, which means a backhand deal going off there, that um, this guy can pretend that he's got it now. He owns it because he's paid something ridiculously low for it. Um, and of course, it's all to do with the, like, our, like our bosses and that, Freemason types. And, um, well, Guy actually went into the manor and took it back on Saturday. Now, obviously, the Freemasons above us weren't having this because the guy that's in there is a Freemason. And so, because he'd taken the manor back, we had to think of a way to get back in there. Because it's a civil matter, we couldn't do anything. So we thought for a couple of days, what can we do? So we, we, what we did is we trumped up a charge and pretended they'd committed a, um, a crime. Who'd committed a crime then? Anyone that was in there. It didn't matter who, who as we, that we think's committed it or who may not have committed it. Or I may have committed it. It's, it's relevant. It doesn't matter. The fact is we needed it to be a crime so that we could then go in there. Because it being a civil matter, obviously the police don't get involved in civil matters but of course our uh, Freemason pedo friends up the top they uh, they want to uh, want it back they want to make a, 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 a spectacle of this guy because he's actually standing up for his rights and he thinks that he's, he can just take his own property back do you believe it you think he'd be paying his mortgage off next he hasn't got one that's the point anybody be, anybody would be think they're paying their off their mortgage when they don't they never well you know, we're all in it together. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, as soon as we realised that, we got all our, our, our checkerboard mates. Nice Illuminati squares on your app, my Yeah, son. yeah, we, we got all them. With, right, we, we told them, we just told, we lied to them. We, yes, God, we yes. just played them as turtles. Oh, shit, you're one of them. Oh, well, we, we're, obviously, I, I, you're, you're, you're special, you are. Not even a copper. <laughs> <clears throat> um... So we, we told them... Just in fancy dress, by the way. It was all legal and lawful what we were doing. Mm. Because otherwise, they probably wouldn't... They, they may have done, but they probably wouldn't have gone in there uh, and um, basically smashed the door in uh, and um, arrested Guy. And, and of course, because we, it was a trumped-up charge, so we had to let him go the same day. But we got what we wanted, which was the fake crime, so he could go in there and kick them all out. But the funny thing is, oh, this is, this will make you piss, mate. In the Herald Post, it says that it, squatters have been evicted from this... Squatters? It's his place! But, of course, mum's a word on that one. Yeah, keep the media sweet, Gov. Yeah. You now, it's really interesting how people uh, can bend the so-called truth. Have you ever looked up the word truth? We've gone over this before. It doesn't exist. Is that it? He's just thrown a frag on the floor. Let's go get him. Right, where's my PCM book? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have fun. Hello. Hold on, I forgot my bloody time. <laughs> Just a minute. Amateurs. I can't work with amateurs. Take two. Ready? <clears throat> <laughs> what was I saying? Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go.